So today I'm going to go through how to set up a malware analysis for forensics or exploit development environment. And this is the absolute easiest, quickest way and free way that I've ever found or seen how to do it. Um, before I do, if you all have any questions about malware analysis or any malware you come into contact with or any questions about this video, hit us up at ringzerolabs.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions. So. Uh, since starting Ring Zero Labs and uh, the channel and everything, I've gotten a lot of questions about my analysis environment, and that actually led me to create a video on all the tools and things that I use on a daily basis and that are installed in my VM. That led to quite a long video, I think it's like 26 minutes, but that does go through all the tools and all the tools are free, and it shows you what they're used for, etc., etc. Well, some people have asked if I can share a pre-built VM. Um, unfortunately, I'm not real sure of the legalities of sharing a unlicensed Windows uh, 7, 8, 10 VM. Um, even you know, without it being licensed and everything, I'm not sure on the legality of that. But uh, I have come up with a solution for that and a quick and easy way on how to get a whole slew of malware analysis tools installed in the VM. And they're all free. Uh, so what we can do is just go to Google and uh, type in free virtual machines from Windows or uh, Windows VM Preview. And you should be able to get to this site. So it's developer.microsoft.com. And what they allow you to do is download VMs for free to try out their different browsers. Uh, here we see their list. Uh, so it goes from IE8 Windows 7 all the way up to Edge on Windows 10. Now for malware analysis, um, typically you want to have a 64-bit operating system. If you're just starting out, I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, and for compatibility sake, it is best to go with Windows 7, just so you don't have any problems with any tools, and most malware runs on Windows 7 and it's compatible with it. Um, if you want to get a little more bang for your buck, but maybe run the risk of not being compatible with all the malware and tools, you can go with Windows 10. So you can select any, any of these links. Go ahead and select which... Uh, virtual environment you're going to be launching uh, this in. In our case, uh, you can be using VMware or the free VirtualBox. Um, both would work just fine. And then you download, you download a zip, and that's it. It's about four gigs, and that will download a preview version of Windows. Now this preview version, it looks a lot like this. I went ahead and downloaded the Windows 10 64-bit and it gives you a slew of information on the background once it's finally installed. And an important note here is that when you download the preview and extract it and load it into your uh, virtual environment, don't start it yet. Uh, before you start it, create a snapshot what this will allow you to do, and they even give you instructions here on the background, is that after 90 days, your trial of this uh, operating system is going to basically kick you out. So by creating a snapshot before the machine even starts, you're able to revert to that snapshot and have another 90 days. So that's pretty awesome. And with this next technique of how you're going to get the malware analysis and exploit development tools on the machine, it makes it even simpler. So, uh, what we can do is next we're going to, after we have you know every, uh, the VM all installed and everything and our snapshot set up, what we can do is go ahead and Google or search for Flare VM, and it should bring you to this site on FireEye.com. So Flare is a uh, subcomponent of FireEye. They're uh, they're they're reverse engineering team. And these folks are fantastic. They've brought us um, tons of free tools and tutorials. They have a reverse engineering competition every year. They are uh, truly leaders in this field. 
Well, what they came up with uh, July of 2017 is an automatic way to install free malware analysis tools. Um, a lot of times in this field, and I've, I've done this tons and tons and tons, is your VM will become corrupted or get infected somehow and you didn't mean to and then a snapshot gets corrupted and now you have to restart everything, reinstall all your tools. It's a very large pain in the butt. But what these folks have done is created an automatic way to install all of the tools that they use on a daily basis to include all the patch updates and, and everything in the background all in one shot. And they do this from a site called Box Starter. Now when you come to the Flare VM site, make sure you do it in Internet Explorer. Don't do it in Firefox or Chrome or Edge or anything else. Do it in Internet Explorer. And you're going to click this link on their page. So boxstarter.org, package, blah blah blah. And at the end it says flarevmalware.ps1. And when you click that, a box will come up asking you to run. So you run it. The initial file is not very big. It's only 22 and a half megs. Go ahead and say yes to the user account control. And then it will ask for your Windows uh, password. Now the password for the preview versions of Windows is preset to this. It says it on your background. So you want to go ahead and type that in, or if you changed it to something else, type that in. And what that allows this tool to do is automatically re reboot the machine for you. Um, now I previously did this process on a Windows 7 VM that I have and the process takes quite a while. Um, I have a pretty decent uh, gig internet speed and it still took a quite a while to get all the tools from the remote servers and everything and all the updates installed. But you don't have to do anything. This is all automatic and once this is finished you will have all of the basic malware analysis tools you need including a lot of other utilities that you can use and it is really a fantastic automatic and free way to set up an analysis environment. So this will keep going and going and reboot your machine several times. And install all the dependencies. If something doesn't install it will restart and, re and retry to install it until it gets until it's able to do it. But right now we're just going to switch over to the Windows 7 VM uh, where I've already done all of this installation and this is what it looks like. So essentially it'll add icons down here to your taskbar and put a shortcut to a folder called Flare on your desktop. And inside this folder the Flare team has organized out in a logical manner all of these tools that they have installed. So you have everything from debuggers to specific binaries written in Delphi or compiled with Delphi, disassemblers, .NET stuff, Flash, Java, I mean, and then utilities is kind of a, a mixed bag of just very helpful utilities you can use. So for debuggers, you have everything you need, both versions of Ollie Debug, Win, WinBag, and then X64 Debug. Fantastic tools. Delphi, IDR Small, something to decompile Delphi binaries. Disassembly, you have Binary Ninja and IDA Free Edition. Um, Binary Ninja is uh, an up and coming disassembler. Um, it's interesting, their free version is pretty limited. But um, yeah, it has a nice layout and it's interesting alternative to IDA. Uh, .NET, you have quite a few tools here to go ahead and disassemble .NET files. Flash, really the only Flash debugger or decompile you ever need is FFDEC, fantastic tool. X editors, a couple here, File Insight from McAfee, gives you quite a bit of information on different uh, 
components of your file, and then HXT is just a straightforward hex editor. Java, you have something here to disassemble Java files and networking. You have FakeNet and Wireshark. And then utilities. All of these different utilities um, are included in the VM that I use on a daily basis. Uh, P Studio, P ID, P Detective, like these are all things to investigate files. Process Explorer and Pro Procmon, um, you know, analyzing running processes. Redshot, taking a, a shot at your registry so that you can monitor it for changes. Like these are all great tools. So simply by running the one uh, PowerShell file in the URL that we showed before. That's here. Simply by letting this run, it installs all the dependencies for all of these tools. And they and the Flare team is actively maintaining a repository of these tools so that you can simply update them through at least the package manager for Windows. Ah, here it is, uh, Chocolate. So they have their own repo in Chocolate for all of these tools and they'll maintain uh, updates and things and allow you to run updates on all of these tools simply from a one line command. And that is cup all. It'll go ahead and update everything on the machine that it installed. So that is a fantastic way to keep things updated, up to date on the bleeding edge of uh, technology for these tools and allow you a quick free analysis environment and using Windows free VMs that they allow you to use for 90 days. Um, you can extend that period by creating a snapshot of the VM before you ever start it. Don't start it. Create a snapshot before you start it. And then once that 90 days is over, you can revert back and rerun the Flare VM tool. And by that time, by the 90 days, um, it would be time to run that tool anyways, because there are bound to be plenty of updates for all of these utilities. So I hope that was informative. Um, if you all have any questions or comments on this video, uh, feel free to hit us up at ringzerolabs.com. Um, this is the closest way that I can replicate my analysis environment to y'all if you want to follow along in videos. And it is completely free, no, um, you know, serial, serial key funny business or extending um, timeouts of VMs and things or sharing VMs. This is a um, completely legal way to get a free VM from Windows and install all the free tools you need in one go. So again, any questions, hit us up at ringzerolabs.com. We'd be happy to answer anything that you have.